In this review we're looking at a re-release of a sword model. It is by WSI Models but there is the sword logo on the box and in all other regards the packaging is typical for a WSI model. The model is a Rogers 4 axle flip axle low boy and a Mac granite tractor or is it a Mac granite tractor? Is it granite or is it granite? Well I don't know it or is it I don't know it? Remember, if you want to support the Cranes Etc team, you can do so over on our Patreon page and the link is in the video description. The mat comes with delicate metal mirrors and it's nice that there are spares included in the packaging. And to insert them, they just go into holes in the bodywork. For the rear axles, there's a choice of having nothing on them or a full wheel arch. And the wheel arches press into holes in the chassis, although they can be slightly loose fitting. But if you don't want full wheel arches, there's another choice, which is just mud flaps. And four of those are provided in the box. But we'll go for the full coverage, so let's add all of the wheel arches. And the only thing it needs is a bit of care and adjustment to get them all lined up and looking good. If you're running a tractor on its own, you can tidy things up by hooking the coiled lines into a rack. But they do spring out, so be prepared to punch your own head in frustration as they spring out. And there's one other thing to add, and that's a cover over some clips, and we'll see those later. Onto the Rogers Low Boy, and we can clip the gooseneck into the trailer deck. And that's an easy enough and robust enough connection. And then we can hook up the Low Boy to the Mac. And the fifth wheel has a nice spring loaded clip to keep the connection tight. There's a lot of detail and we can plug in connections from the deck into the gooseneck. And although it's a bit fiddly, the wires are not springy, so the connections stay in place. If you want to go for the full realistic look, you can also plug the coiled lines into the gooseneck. The Mac chassis is nicely detailed and the front tyres are slightly fatter than the rear ones. The body shape looks good and there are some nice details such as the Mac mascot on the front of the hood. There are other high quality details such as the exhaust stacks and the chains on the rack behind the cab. So the overall look of the Mac is characterised by high detail. At first glance the Rogers trailer seems simple enough underneath but when you get closer it too is highly detailed just look at all those hoses on the rear axles. Moving on to the gooseneck, there are numerous very detailed graphics and that high standard continues on towards the back. But there's detail and then there's high detail. Take a look at these tiny tie down loops along the deck edge. They are individual parts that are movable. When Cranes Etc visited China at the end of 2016, this model was in production. Here we see the springy airlines being fitted to a part to go onto the Mack tractor. And here we see an ocean of Macs on the production line. As we have seen, these are very detailed models, so they all get studied closely during production. They are made up of a large number of components, and each of these has to be installed by hand. And it's painstaking work. Not only is there detail to add, but all of the moving parts have to be checked. And here are some Macs on the test track. And again you can see they get a good look at, and a bit of a polish if they need it. One thing we've seen already with the model is that there are various parts that come in small bags. And here we see the bagging up process for the wheel arches. They've been added to a model to see that they fit, and then they go into a bag that's kept with that same model. There's a similar assembly process for the Rogers trailers, and here they are, stacks of them, waiting to be packaged up. Again, there are parts such as the deck edge extensions, and somebody's got to put them together in nicely wrapped bags. Here we're now into the final packaging and the trailers are getting another look. And once they pass that inspection, they get put into the plastic former that's sitting in the expanded polystyrene tray. Then the lid can be added and the factory sealing applied. Now remember at the start of the review there was a sword logo on the WSI box. Well somebody has to stick those logos on. And here is the exact box used in the model review. Actually it's not, I made that bit up. At 
Out on the Cranes Etc superhighway, the Mac rolls along nicely. And if you're on a bumpy road, it's always nice to have sprung suspension, and the Mac's got it. Let's also check out the steering and see if it can drive us around the bend. And the steering achieves a moderate angle, and it's also notched. But it does give the chance of an interesting pose. Whilst we're still on the chassis, we can remove that cover that we put on earlier. And if we lift the second axle and rotate a couple of clips, then the axle can be raised up out of service to save tyre wear. The height of lift is just enough to enable the axle to clear the ground. So the wheels don't move when the Mac is driven along. Another very nice feature on the model is the opening doors and a special plastic pointer is provided. And you need that because the fit of the doors is so good. The doors open to a reasonable angle and that lets you see the inside which is nice and detailed. When you're finished the door can be smoothly shut. Well we mentioned bumpy roads earlier and there is another small feature and that is the seats which can be bounced up and down. And of course if you need to get to the engine you can open up the hood. And underneath that you can see that the engine is made up of a number of different components. The Rogers trailer is also a nicely featured model, it has a suspension on the rear axles. But the interesting part is how you can raise some of them out of service. Axle 3 can be raised up and clipped out of service just like the axle on the Mac. And the lift height is very good. But if you remove a pin from axle 4, then it becomes a flip axle. And you can flip the axle right over. And now the trailer is basically a two axle trailer. So there's no need to wear the tyres out in the display case. The deck is fairly narrow but you can widen it out by folding out the little brackets. And it can be entertaining watching somebody getting frustrated as they try to get them all out evenly. But once it's achieved there's a long replica timber that can be put down on those brackets. Although it's not quite an easy snug fit. Another nice little feature is the fold down loading ramps so the trailer can be posed being loaded. This truck was first released by Sword Models in 2009 and it's good to see it re-released by WSI Models. It's a high quality model with very nice detailing and some very nice features. It's a great model to pose carrying a load and it's easy to rate it as very good. 